Guys, this is me, Rusty78609, not in Central Texas. I'm in Round Rock, Texas at a truck camper dealership. And this is Friday, November the 4th, 2016 at about 12 p.m., 12 noon. And it's a little overcast, and I'm hoping I don't get sprinkled on. But anyway, these are the truck campers, okay? They got a whole row of them here. And there's all kinds. There's a travel light there. This one right there, that's a travel light. This is a Palmino, Palomino, and it's got the little kind of the tarp-like material, the pop-up stuff. And this is the one I came to look at. This is the Travel Light Razor. Uh, it's called FK, which means, I guess, front kitchen. And then over here, they have the Travel Light 625 SL. And the price on these, I think that Travel Light's around $12,000. Uh, this Razor, rather. It, this one's around $12,000, I think. And this one's a little higher, probably fourteen. I'm going to check in a minute. But anyway, this is the outside. And I'll go, I'm six foot two, okay? And so I'll walk in here. And it's uh, it looks okay. Let me show you something here on the outside, too. See, this, this one doesn't have the part that goes over the cab of the truck. It's kind of it's kind of cut off right in here, okay? See, the one beside it here has the uh, part that goes over the cab right here. It goes up over the cab, and this one doesn't have that part. So we'll look at it right in here and show you what's inside. And it's got a um, place on the right. Looks like it's a dining table area, but that dining table that's sitting right there goes right in this space, and that makes a bed right here. Okay. And uh, anyway, it's tall. And I'm six foot two, and my head is just close to the roof, not touching. Uh, it's got a little AC. Uh, it's also got the fantastic fan, which is great. Uh, it's got a little storage over here on the right, which is the reason I'm glad they didn't use doors. I like these things better. And these are pretty sturdy, by the way. And uh, it's got some nice windows. Got a big window right here. And uh, that's nice. Uh, got a little storage underneath down here. And I'm sure there's some storage. Yeah, there's storage over here, too. And uh, there's a, this little thing here pops up for some additional countertop space. You've got a sink with hot and cold water. You've got a two-burner stove. You've got a vent -a hood uh, There's your furnace. Uh, they also have a small... There, there's storage up here, too. I didn't show you that. But there's some storage right above the vent hood in the kitchen area, I guess you'd say. And this is a Dometic or Dometech, however you pronounce it, refrigerator. It's not a great big one, but it would work adequately for camping. Actually, you could live in this very easily. I mean, I could. And that closes like that. Then there's a little storage here. And that's the battery, 12-volt battery and uh, it's got a vent that's what this hose is for that's just a vent and uh, but anyway overall this is a nice little unit it's very light you know they say it weighs around 900 pounds but there was a guy did a youtube video and says no that's wrong it weighs around 1200 pounds and i would probably be more inclined to agree with that but it's got some uh, it's got some electrical outlets so when you have power if you have a generator or whatever you're going to use you would have power inside. It's got a water pump. That's what this little thing is right here. That's to turn on the water pump. I think it's got a nine gallon storage. Uh, there's a little something here. And uh, anyway, so it's got some storage. I mean, you, you can put a lot of stuff. That's where your, this deal here opens up and that's where you put your toilet right in there. It doesn't have a shower, but you wouldn't need one. You could get by without it, and that's why I'm looking at it. But it's got some wall outlets here. What I would like to do is get one without all this stuff in it. And uh, you know what I mean? And just go bare bones, you know, because you can get a Norco 12-volt refrigerator. But anyway, it's got a, some outlets here on the outside. Of course, it's got speakers. 
uh, there's your propane tank deal right here. It's got a, doesn't say, but it looks like it's probably a 10 pound propane tank. Uh, this is the outlet for, yeah, that's for your shore power, I guess you'd call it, in case you go to an RV park. Uh, that's up here, that, that right there, that's the hot water heater and vent. This right here is an outdoor shower right here. Uh, of course, this is the vent from the vent hood. This is the vent for the uh, refrigerator. And overall, for me, it would work fine, a single individual. Now, for a, for a couple, it be a little difficult. Now, one thing I do like about it here is it's got a nice screen door, okay? You can close that screen door when you're out camping. And uh, this thing, oh, it locks. Okay, the door kind of locks like that. All right, but anyway, it's okay. I mean, it would, it'll, it'll work, it'll work. And I think you can get one of these uh, probably for around, I think they're around 9,000. Now you can get a plain Jane, I think, for around uh, eight, but uh, I'm checking on that now. Now this is the, this is the full-fledged tribal light that has the uh, over the cab part up here in the front. And these are not electric jacks, okay, as far as I know. They're, those are the manual ones, which, you know. But it has this, this one has the same features as the Razor, only it's just got a bigger, it's just got more space, okay? That's it. And it's heavier, of course. I think this one weighs about 2,200 pounds. And, uh, but anyway, we'll look inside this one. It's got roof AC, which I don't like. The reason I don't like roof AC, they're usually noisy. It's got a big queen size bed in here. As far as uh, headroom, plenty. Yeah, it, this one's actually got more headroom than the Razor. So this one's probably about, oh, three inches more headroom inside. Got more storage up up here. Okay. And it's got some speakers, of course, which I don't really care about. Uh, the bed is big. That's a queen size bed, basically. Got a nice window at the head of the bed. Got some blinds. There's your vent hood again. Storage above, below, and a little flip up countertop. So this has got the same features uh, as the uh, Razor. And uh, the refrigerator is the same side. It's the Medic. And this one opens. This one opens a little differently, yeah. Yeah, see the one in the razor, the door opened the other way, which I thought was pretty stupid. And uh, this one is better. This one has a little freezer part in the top, which would c come in handy. That's a freezer part. And uh, so the, 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 I would rather have, if I was going to have a refrigerator, I'd rather have this style because it's uh, it opens right. The other one was hinged so that it opened this way, which is not good. But overall, I would say this would be a very functional camper, even for two people. And could you live in that? Shit, yeah. Yeah, you could live in that easy. Again, I, I, I wouldn't want that roof ace. Of course, you know, for some people, you know, they're going to park in RV parks or they're going to take their generator. You know, that's fine. Go ahead and do it. But for me, I, I want to use solar and get by with as little noise and stuff as possible. And this one right here... We're going to look at this Cadillac. I'm sure this one's 20000 or more. This is a Princess. Oh, sorry, that's the name of the dealership. Yeah, you know, you can go online and go to their website, princesscraftrv.com, and check these out and see what you think about them. But this is a Travel Light Illusion. I promise you it's an illusion to me because I ain't going to buy it. Uh, it shows that it's an 890 SBRX. And the weight on this one shows to be 1,840 pounds. Okay. Well, wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, 1,840 pounds. So let's look inside. He says they're unlocked. And they are. How about that? All right, now this, is, this would be a house. I mean, you, you could live in this very, very easily. I mean, it's got a nice step, nice entrance, screen door. Cabinets on both sides. Cabinets here, cabinets here. Plenty of storage, just like an RV. Uh, if you come in, you got 
plenty of headroom, fancy sink. Okay, look at that. Isn't that fancy? Fancy dancy. And uh, this has got the furnace, three, three burner stove with oven. Huh? How about that? It's even got an oven right here. Okay. Vena hood and microwave. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And this one has a big, big refrigerator, which I'll try to open. There we go. Yeah, it's got, oh, that's a big refrigerator. Look at this thing. I mean, this thing has a full refrigerator. And I mean, big refrigerator with a nice freezer compartment right here. So that's great. Yeah, you could live in this. Easy. Looks like a, I don't know, queen size bed again. Nice lighting. Got a one of those fantastic fans again, which are nice. Windows on both sides, good. So you got if you got a place with a nice view, you can enjoy it. Uh, of course, this uh, dining area makes into another uh, bed area if you need it. And uh, but the one thing good about these tables that they have in the art, these things, these things swivel. You can actually just swivel it by hand to get in and out of your sitting spot. And then up above, they've got more. More cabinets, so that you know you could live in this. Hell, this is a house. This is a this is the equivalent of an RV, a full fledged RV. I mean, you got everything here. The only thing you don't have, well, yeah, you do too, right here. It you got a, a, a full shower. It's called what they I think they call this a wet shower. Okay, and the reason is you kind of straddle the potty, or you stand. See, there's the drain hole. Okay, and then uh, you got your little sink there, a mirror, and a little medicine cabinet, and another one of those vent fans. It's a fantastic fan. And uh, there's your shower head right there. So this one's got everything. This is a house, okay? This is just a house. I mean, you, you can live in this with no problemo. And I don't know the price on it, though. You'll have to check it out on the internet. There's not a salesman around, which is fine with me. Okay, but anyway, they got all kind of stuff here. Here's one over here that I've never seen before. This is called a cricket. Never even heard of it. I mean, it's kind of unusual looking. Ah, <laughs> but that's a cricket. And it's really unusual looking. I don't know what it is. Let's look at it. It's called, here's where you can find it. TexasOutdoors.com. It's a cricket, and it shows some little pictures up here as to what it looks like. I guess it starts off like this and becomes this, and then goes back to that. But it's definitely a cricket. It's got a air conditioner, that's for sure, and it's got a little pop-up top with that canvas material, kind of like a tent. And uh, I don't think there's no entrance. That's the only downside. <laughs> The only thing about the cricket is there's no way to get in it. Or I haven't seen it yet. Oh, here it is over here. Okay. I didn't see anything for like a hot water heater or stuff. So maybe it doesn't have that. Let's see what this is. Uh, that's for an outdoor shower. Okay, so they got water somewhere. It's got a little storage box there, and this is a hitch to hook it up to your pickup. Let's see if I can find the weight. It's a fancy door, and it looks like an airplane. Well, you can't even open it. Oh, yeah, you can. How about that, boys and girls? That is the door. It swings out like an airplane. And uh, that's it inside. This is the cricket, and uh, it's okay. It's got a lot of space. You know, it's got a lot of space. It looks like kind of an airplane design there on the roof. You know, that is stainless steel or aluminum, I'm sure. And that's your bed, and uh, it's got a, I guess that's the refrigerator. Yeah, it is. That's an Engel 12 volt refrigerator, and that is an air conditioner. It's got a little kitchen area up here. It's got a little sink. And uh, it's got a porta potty here. I'm not sure what kind that is. It says toilet. 
something. I can't it says it's a 970 series, whatever that is. But that's the potty. But anyway, it's an interesting. Well, it's unusual. I have to tell you that this whole thing is unusual, and I have no clue what the price is. And uh, but again, this is RV City. We've done about 15 minutes. I'll go a few seconds. Uh, this one right here is a lightweight camper called an Igo. Never heard of it. And uh, let's go over here. We've looked at we looked at the Razor. We looked at the Travel Light there. We looked at the Travel Light Illusion. And let's look at a. This is a Lance L A N C E. It's got all the stuff. Uh, it's got the, well, you can see it's got a hot water heater, uh, it's got a stove and all that stuff, we've got a refrigerator, we've got the, these are electric jacks. If you ever get a drop-in camper, you got to have the electric jacks, and the way you can tell, that's an electric jack, okay? Go down here and I'll show you. These are manual jacks, okay? What you got to do, you have a little deal that fits on there, and you to get this out of your truck or in it, you got to crank one up at a time and down. You, know, you got to go around and get them even. Anyway, let's look at this one. We'll call it a day. This one has a little ladder to go up on the roof. It's got a little awning that pops out in the back. Got two steps built in, just like an RV, and the door opens. Got a screen door. And it uh, looks like it's plenty tall. Uh, yeah, it is. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And it's got the, well, of course, it's got a kitchen sink, furnace. There's the furnace down there. That is the furnace. And it's got a two burner stove. Got a little sound system. Can't go without that. When you go out with nature, you want to listen to loud ass music. Ha ha ha. Anyway, there's the microwave. And there's the bed. Now this is just another little house, okay? And uh, it's okay. It's good. This is a little dining area here. And again, that table swivels. You can just swivel that table anywhere you want to. And uh, we'll go over here, check out the fridge. I don't know what brand. Oh, this is a Narco refrigerator. Way to work. You push that up and then open it. It's got a little freezer. Uh, it's got enough space. Yeah, you're fine for two people. Fine. Okay. So that's that. It's even got a little TV in the bedroom, a little LED TV. But anyway, having said all that, guys, I'm going to finish this video. And that is the outing for the day for me. I went and looked at trucks, but I'll talk about that later. And... Uh, but anyway, the one I was interested in, and I still am, I'm going to go back and look at it again right quick. The Travel Light Razor, the price is right for me. I think you can get one of these. You know, they've only been out for a few years, so there's not going to be many used ones on the market yet. But I would love to find one without the... Uh, you know, just a plain box, you know, so that I can finish it out the way I want to. But, and, you know, they told me they could order one, but what they, what I thought was going to be 6000 turned out to be, he called me this morning, it turns out to be nearly 9000 But, yeah, this would work for me. This is the Travel Light FK Razor, and it would work for me. This would be great for camping. This would be really good. Really good. No kidding. There's a big window there so you can put your bed where you can sit and look out the window. You'd have to clean the bug splatters off because this thing sits up high and the bugs are going to get... You, what you could do is get, get you a cover for that window when you're traveling and keep that window clean. That would be my doing. That's what I would do. But no, this would, this would work fine for me. The only thing I noticed in this thing is this refrigerator door is hinged on this side so you, it opens this way okay so if you're at the kitchen and you wanted to get something out of the refrigerator you got to hit yourself you got to hit yourself in the face with the door to do it but as far as the size you know that'd be, but i'd rather not i'd like to have that as a blank space and have this gone just have the countertop just have all that countertop there 
basically, I wouldn't mind having the water, you know, in, in the pump. Water, water pump would be great. You, know, you can take your little shower kind of right in here. And, uh, but that's, that would work. So anyway, this is Rusty, Rusty78609, Central, well, not Brown Rock, Texas, doing a quick video on the uh, drop-in truck campers. And they got all kinds. They got the little bitty ones and all that stuff. But uh, th this will work. You just have to have the truck. I went and looked at a truck today. And to get a truck, you need at least a half ton to haul that. Let's see if I can get a shot of the front of this thing before I cut this off. Let's see if I can get, I'll show you the front of it. Okay, here we go. So now, now, you, can, now you can clearly see the difference. This is the razor, and it ends right here. And then the uh, travel light, there's that part that goes over the cab of the truck. The, uh, that one, this, that's the part that goes over your cab right there. And then this one doesn't have that. Okay, this one doesn't have the part that goes over your cab. So anyway, it's starting to sprinkle rain. But again, this is Rusty, Rusty78609, Round Rock, Texas, USA. Quick video on these drop-in campers. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day. I'll enjoy mine. I'm working on it. I, all I got to do is get back home now. Bye-bye-bye, American Made. When you can, enjoy. Drink plenty of water.